There were a few things that defined this year's CES from the perspective of PC gamers. Like at Computex, RGB was absolutely everywhere with peripherals, cooling, power supplies, cases, motherboards, and everything between going the multicolored approach. The other defining technology was HDR, or High Dynamic Range Monitors, and unlike the RGB craze, this will certainly change things in a big way. While the amount of content right now is limited at best, HDR is the future of monitors and most people agree that it has an even greater impact on image quality than the added detail afforded by 4K resolution. As a result, it is not surprising that hot on heels of AMD's announcement of FreeSync 2, Nvidia introduced their latest and greatest gaming-oriented monitor technology, G-Sync HDR. Let's see what it has to offer after a message from our sponsors. This show coverage is possible thanks to NVIDIA, Gigabyte, Fantex, and NCIX. As a quick recap from some of our previous videos, HDR, or High Dynamic Range, allows for a greater amount of luminosity within images, which brings them closer to visual perfection for the human eye than previously possible. This can lead to anything from increased shadow depth to more realistic vibrancy to better black levels and increased detail. Actually, the possibility with HDR are literally endless and more importantly, since HDR10 is now considered a standard, supporting monitors will be completely plug and play without any setup necessary to attain optimal image quality. With that in mind, at CES 2017, Nvidia unveiled the world's first HDR gaming monitors. As of right now, G-Sync HDR is not just some guidelines like AMD's FreeSync 2, it is an actual product. Working in coordination with AU Optronics, Nvidia has actually developed a G-Sync panel that fully supports HDR10. This 27-inch panel not only has a 4K resolution, but it also runs at an ultra-fast 144Hz refresh rate and it requires a single DisplayPort 1.4 input. Now, if that wasn't amazing enough, this panel also has a peak brightness of 1000 nits a full array backlit with 384 individually controllable LED zones, almost zero input latency, quantum dot technology, and a wide color gamut for colors close to DCI-P3 cinema standard. So basically, you can have your cake and eat it too. The first two monitors to feature this ultra-high-end 27-inch panel will be the Acer Predator XB272 and Asus ROG Swift PG27UQ. They will feature both HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.4 inputs the latter of which is an absolute necessity to handle the 31.4 gigabits per second bandwidth that this panel will require. We actually went hands-on with both of these, but since they both function identically, I will focus on the Asus Swift PG27Q. One thing is evident right away, and that's the new base, which will be used in many of the new ROG products. It uses three thin legs to support a raised center column, and within that is an LED which projects downwards onto your work surface. Now, even though the stand makes this monitor look light, the actual panel is ultra thick. Part of this is due to the depth required by the full array backlit with its individually zones, but there's also some thickness required for the active cooling of Nvidia's G-Sync module. Asus told us that the final retail units may do away with this active cooler, but that's something they're testing right now. So, how does a 4K HDR running G-Sync actually look? Absolutely stunning in person. The side-by-side -side test systems were running the Unreal Engine Infiltrator demo, and the differences between HDR and SDR was completely evident, even if you can't really see the differences in this video. Shadow depth, color reproduction, and highlights were noticeably better on the HDR monitor, and I was actually able to see a lot more detail on it. G-Sync HDR will be launching later this year, and unfortunately, neither Asus nor Acer would tell us the price of these displays, but don't expect them to be anywhere close to budget-friendly. 4K G-Sync HDR will also need a ton of GPU horsepower since the systems we saw were running dual Pascal Titan X cards and the infiltrator demo dipped below 30 frames per second a few times. So what do you guys think of G-Sync HDR? Is this something that will interest you or do you think it'll be way too expensive? Let us know in the comments down below and stay tuned for more content from CES 2017. I'm Ibar with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.